how's it going? It's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go on ahead to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com. Or you may also follow the links below. And just a quick reminder for those of you who may have missed last week's horoscopes or my favorite, uh, <laughs> maybe skipped or ignored the intro where I explain what's going on. I am not appearing in horoscope videos at this time. It's gotten to a point with my practice since I've been, you know, I'm, well, I'm always very intense with my spiritual practice, but it's gotten to a point where information is coming so much more quickly, almost instantaneous for me. It's really important for me to actually just kind of stay on the frequency I'm at when I'm reading, not step down, you know, and get into a lower frequency and flip cards. And, you know, it, it's easier for me to just stay up there and go. And so that's what I'm going to do. Now, it's not that you won't see me when, you know, I'm doing non-horoscope videos. I'll still be appearing in non-horoscope videos. But when it comes to horoscopes, um, this is the way it's going to be for now. Okay. So what is going on when it comes to your coming week? This week is all colored by the Justice card upright. And the, the, the key word that keeps resounding in my head is rectify, rectification. Yes, balance, but mostly rectification, because I'm seeing with the Justice card upright, a lot of you Leo people are in a place to be doing some serious repair work or maybe doing some serious work when it comes to bringing things back to a place of balance. But the rectification is what needs to be how it's done. Now, when we rectify things, in a lot of cases, we're making things clear. We're making things, you know, transparent. And you're going to be finding that a lot of conversations, a lot of relationships, a lot of work opportunities, a lot of even dramas are going to have their chances to be rectified and cleared this week. But with the Justice card, it is going to be in a place of divine neutrality. This is where all the walls come down, all the defenses and the posturing and the pretense and the personal issues come down. And we're going to be finding that this week people are actually capable of working together to start rectifying serious issues or maybe even things that we've been just feeling forced to live with. I'm going to talk about being forced to live with. Sometimes we feel like we have to live with certain conditions just because it's easier to keep the peace, whether it's at work, maybe it's in a, you know, in a family circumstance. The Justice card upright is saying, well, no, that's not tolerable anymore. We, we, there, there is a, there's no tolerance for toxicity this week. And so even things that kind, generous people have been doing to kind of maybe get by, make the best of it, they don't have to do that anymore because I'm feeling with the rectifying, we are rectifying disparity. We are rectifying dishonesty. We are rectifying misinformation. We are rectifying miscalculations. And this week, a lot of you are finding that there is going to be an enforcement of function. No tolerance for toxicity, no matter what the story is. And this is a week where a lot of you are going to find that everything is getting back on the level, especially if you feel maybe some things have been out of control for you recently in your own personal life stream. The Justice card is saying, no, we're here to bring this back under control. We're here to rectify anything that has gotten out of balance, started to spin out, get all wonky, or go into the direction of dysfunction. In fact, with the Seven of Wands upright, you know, and the Seven of Cups reversed, a lot of you are whipping things into shape, as especially, especially as it relates to your job, especially as it relates to your social life. The Seven of Wands upright has you stepping into a space where you are actually destroying or dismantling something that has ultimately been either corrupted, co-opted, or taken over by maybe inauthentic people or inauthentic processes, something that is actually working against the betterment of your team, the betterment of your field, how you serve. The Seven of Wands also has you toppling something that has been maybe limiting your opportunities to actually get the most material wealth or even material abundance that you already should be having because I'm actually seeing you overcoming some kind of major obstacle or some kind of major impediment that has been set before you. A lot of you may also find that you're in a position to take on either a new role or a new line of work 
Just be careful, you will be going into foreign territory with the Seven of Wands upright. You have support where you're going, but a lot of people may not necessarily feel so great about you taking that leap. They may actually feel betrayed. They may actually feel as though they don't know what to do with you. And with the Seven of Wands upright, it's okay for you to take that step. Just make sure that you are, of course, preparing yourself for the extra work it's going to take. Now, the Seven of Wands ultimately, with the Seven of Cups reversed, has you standing in a pretty good victory moment or several victory moments this week, especially when it comes to actually getting something changed that is meant to stay for the test of time. Now, we could be, yes, breaking a cycle, something that has been a long-standing issue as it relates to, yes, your material wealth, your material security. You could be winning a hard-fought battle over something that you deserve or something that has been on the table for you for quite some time. We also have you reducing a lot of, I guess, social interactions or reducing a lot of... I don't know, maybe even re reducing your social contact list this week. I'm seeing a lot of you Leo people deciding to get away from maybe even putting on the suit or the song and dance for people that uh, ultimately you know are looking for a plastic connection, looking for a superficial connection. Now I understand that, hell, even in the spiritual community, um, I mean, I was taken aback by it, honestly, when I first started doing YouTube, because, you know, I've been practicing since the late 90s. But I mean, yeah, even in the spiritual community, sometimes you see plastic stuff going on. Ultimately, nowadays, there's no room for that anymore. We're at the, we're at the beginning of a paradigm shift, like people got to wake up. And I think a lot of you might be encountering versions of that in your own life and realizing, wow, uh, this is not health. You know, I do need to step into a space where I am now only surrounded by people that are trying to, you know, live in the same health, wealth, abundance, as well as spiritual growth as I am, or personal growth that as I am. And the Seven of Cups Reverse does have a lot of you getting adopted, in a sense, into a space where you are around people that resonate with you, that are ideal complementary inclusions with your life. But we have to make room for them first. And that was also a kind of a theme for a lot of monthly scopes for people on Patreon as well. As we get to emotional, you know, romantic relationship stuff, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. And this is kind of an interesting one because I am seeing a lot of opportunities for burying the hatchet this week when it comes to love and romance with either an existing partner or maybe an old partner or even somebody we never got to see. It just never really got there. The Five of Swords reverse is talking about a lot of you getting a chance to sort of mend relationships or mend patches or patch up holes in relationships, you know, replace some boards on the bridge that we connect to, because there's some additional information coming out that's kind of helping us to maybe move past um, some kind of grudge. Now, I'm not sure if there's a grudge between you and an existing partner or a grudge between you and an ex or a grudge between you and maybe somebody you were trying to see, but it might not be, if it's not a grudge, it would still definitely be like an old sore spot, an old wound, or maybe even a bruise on the relationship. We have a chance to heal that and reconcile that this week. We may be even finding that the relationship is also getting more allies, more social allies, maybe friends, family who are not very supportive in the past, or maybe friends and family that sort of alienated themselves as soon as you know we started this relationship. Well, we have now an opportunity to start helping those people to understand and accept the relationship that we have. And they may be actually quite apologetic. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.